I'll tell you what. If you're going to start a video off, for anyone who does YouTube, start a video off with some red pepper hummus. Jesus. It's the best way to start a video off. Oh, this video is about Sinister 50D. Sinistil is a daylight colour negative motion picture film and like other Sinistil stock they've got the Remjet backing removed so I'm not exactly sure what that means I'll let some other YouTuber tell you exactly what that all is but from what I know is the light goes through the film and bounces back out going through the reds of your photograph it will give these huge sexy red auras of just sexiness in those pictures. They're called halations, and this is one of the biggest reasons to why Sin still gives me the 50 Ds. Well, on this video, I get up stupidly early and drive all the way up to Edinburgh. It is possibly one of my favorite cities to shoot, but believe it or not, I was going there to meet a friend. I know, crazy. I know, I know, crazy. So we met up for brunch and just shot a few things. You gotta love the standard first of the roll look. Rare to be in Scotland on such a beautiful day, and I was there with Sinistil, so very happy me. So I definitely peaked super early with my personal favorite shot. Like, why is there even a car there? I don't understand, but I just love it. You can't tell on camera, but this woman scares the life out of me. And don't be fooled by her perfect nails, which she always has 24 seven. She actually forced me to come up to Edinburgh and if I didn't, well, I don't feel safe to say on YouTube. I don't think it's suitable or appropriate, but. Once I finally got rid of my friend, I headed over to the sea to celebrate freedom and just get some more photographs. I found an abandoned lighthouse, which was pretty cool actually, if I don't say so myself. This guy was on but he was a vibe and I was loving it. I didn't catch this on film but I actually joined him and we did a little like YMCA buggy together but thought that's for a personal private life. You can't you don't get to see stuff like that.
So after spending all afternoon getting high off halations, 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 whatever, I headed back to England. Disappointed I had not finished off my role. I think I'm a little too precious when it comes to, to film, especially Sinistil, because I like it so much. I want it to be the best shot it possibly can. I've still got some work to do on myself, don't worry. I'm seeing a therapist. <laughs> sat on the camera for about another week and didn't shoot anything which was really annoying because I should have but I ended up taking my camera on some jobs I did for work and just started shooting a couple of things out there which were all nice. two colleagues that I work with and they are real life renditions of Dumb and Dumber and I really hope they take no interest in my personal projects because if they hear this they are going to make my life hell and if they do hear this looks like I'm going to the job center So to finish off this role, I met my parents and the love of my life. No, not the camera, it's Roxy. We walked to a place called Nicky Nook, which was pretty easy for me because, you know, I work out. Can't say the same for my parents, they're incredibly unfit and I practically just carried them the whole way. But don't ask them about that, but that's what happened. However, it was super nice because my mother turned out to be my own personal camera woman, despite a hiccup later on where she tried to steal the show because she wanted to show the world and gloat about her new nails.
focus on how much I love this film. The greens on these shots, they just, I just love them. They're like dark, but they're not dark. They're just mm. I thought I'd get in on the cool Instagram reels and do that whole like video into the camera, into the photograph. Then I realized that that's lame. There you go now, you can walk away now. <laughs> There's not much more for me to say about this film stock. I mean, I've made it pretty apparent that I have a huge love for it. And I'm basically still a film virgin. I've not shot Portra, I've not shot any Filgy. Filgy? Fuji film. Cinestall 50D is perfect for me. The, the colours and just how clear and grainless this whole film stock is really, really just, just did something, does something for me. Now I'm contradicting myself because the last video, Adox HR50 is ISO 50 and Cinestill is ISO 50 and I had the best time with this film roll. So maybe we're starting to learn that I actually don't know what I'm talking about. But I love this film stock. It's basically the Daisy Edgar Jones of film stocks. Just absolute perfection for me. I love you. So expect to see me shooting on this a lot more in the future when I can get my greasy mitts on it. Until then, I will continue shooting whatever stock that I have in. Shout out to Analog Wonderland for providing me with these film stocks. I got these in the Wonderbox subscription service, which if you are a beginner in film photography, I highly recommend it because you get a very wide range of different film stocks for you to try out, experiment and learn. So super go and check that out. I, that's how I started off with, with my film and I still absolutely loving it. And another shout out for Take It Easy Lab for getting all of my film stocks developed and scanned for me, all beautifully for these videos. Right, that's the end. Thanks for watching. And don't do something that I wouldn't do. And don't forget to eat hummus, man. Hummus is the boss. this like seriously hats off to you guys for getting this far <laughs>